Hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another audio file review. This time we're checking out Edifier's upper mid-range true wireless earbud packed with hybrid driver setup, ANC as well as high resolution codec audio or format. It uses Bluetooth 5.0 for connectivity with adaptive latency mode, which we will cover in the later part of the video where we touch about latency benchmark. Now this earbuds right here is priced at 130 USD globally. You can check its updated price or any available discount when you click the links, the product links found in the video description down below. Looking at the charging case, it's a soft matte finish with a brushed gunmetal finish plate on top of the case assumed to be aluminium. I could be wrong. The Type-C charging port is located on the back. It takes an hour plus to charge the case to full, one of the quickest in the market. The button in the case helps the earbud to pair with the device like smartphone or reset the left and right earbuds to sync back together. The red LED shows the case charge level based on three different red LED lines length. The earbuds are matte finish with a more geometrical design. It has a IP54 dust and water resistance, so gym workout would be fine. Sits flush in the ear. There is three microphone array on each earbud. During call, one microphone captures your voice. The other two filters out the surrounding noise and suppress wind noise coming into your phone call. So a total of six microphones. The charging case and the earbud weighs just under 58 grams while each earbud weighs 5.4 grams. The package includes a soft carrying pouch, a decently length charging cable, seven pairs of antibacterial ear tips. I assume to be bacteria resistance, not fully anti right here. The ear tips are color coded and only a few companies give more than three pairs of ear tips. So plus point to Edifier right here. The Neobus Pro comes with adaptive Bluetooth technology, meaning it has two modes. It has normal and game mode. In normal mode, basically with the high resolution codec especially, you can feel the full experience, the full rich audio experience. This is good for streaming music, gaming, and even, you know, just streaming Netflix and chill. Hotstar, Disney Hotstar if you're into Disney and Star Wars. Or maybe you're gonna do Twitch or YouTube gaming or Facebook gaming or YouTube music, Netflix and Tidal you will feel like you are in heaven, your ears like eargasm. But there is some lag right there. Whereas in gaming mode, of course, when you play those uh, FPS games, like those shooter games, every time you shoot the gun, you don't want to hear the bullet sound effect or the gun sound effect appear one second later. That is lag or latency. So with game mode, it reduces this latency. So every time you sh shoot the gun, it sounds correct, like it's firing a real gun. But there is a slight kickback right here that the audio quality drops a little bit. So there's a trade-off right here. Speed, low quality. Low speed, high quality. So let's jump into the test. This, this will be a Bluetooth, Bluetooth lag test, test using, using just a pen. pen. What, what I'm, I'm going to do, do is double click it upon firing backwards. backwards. That, that would be how much the lag will be presented, presented in this Bluetooth, Bluetooth device. device. And, and if, if you're, you're not sure whether, whether there's some lag, lag, no worries, I'll leave, leave some words on the bottom of this video to tell you how much lag there is. So let's start the test. No worries, I'll leave some words on the bottom of this video to tell you how much lag there is. So let's start the test. On to the microphone test. Currently what you're listening to is my Rode wireless kit recording into my Sony A7 Mark III camera. Test it sounds nice. We are using the Filmic Pro app on the Samsung S20 Plus right here without any post-processing involved in the phone or during this edit of this review. This is set at its highest possible bit rate. Thus, your, what you're gonna listen next is how the microphone sounds like. So let's jump to the microphone. Currently what you are listening to is the Neobuds Pro. It is recording right here. You can see that the audio meter is spiking. If I stay silent, it drops. So testing one, two, three. Think fluffy unicorn dancing on rainbow. She sells seashells on the seashore. Mind you that this has six microphones, three on each side. 
one microphone to capture your audio, one microphone to capture the sound in your ears as a balancer, as well as one microphone pointing outwards to capture the information from the surrounding and also do the noise reduction so hopefully your vocals is clearer for calls. Just a side note that on Apple products like iPhone and iPad, the microphone quality will be significantly better than Android devices. Let's jump into the review. The Neobuds Pro is rated to have a 42 decibel range of noise cancellation. This is entering into the premium tier ANC product range like the likes of the Sony WF-1000X Mark III or Mark IV or even Bosch Quiet Comfort earbuds. Edifier ANC Moods is a hybrid one, meaning you can choose to toggle between high or low ANC, ambient mood or turn off completely in the Edifier Connect app. Low frequency noises such as environmental noise, traffic noise or even air condition noise is totally eliminated. In terms of high frequency noises, I'll split into two categories, natural and man-made. In terms of natural, like for example, bird chipping is barely noticeable, especially if they are far away, if they are nearby to you. It's there but not so present into your ears. Electrical humming and hissing like zzz or mm, is totally eliminated. As well as human make, for example, kids crying in the airplane, it will be significantly reduced. It's there but significantly reduced. Karens in malls fighting for a 25 cents discount with the cashier will be also reduced significantly. <laughs> so I can say that the ANC control in terms of the low and the high frequency noises is good. It's like the likes of Sony and Bosch with one uptake right here. Unlike the other two, those two have some ear fatigue, meaning when you set the ANC to high mode, there is some eardrum pressure. I don't feel that much on this when I set it to high compared to the likes of Sony and Bosch. So you don't face ear fatigue when running ANC for an hour plus and so on. In the Edifier Connect app, which is available for Android and iOS device, shows the earbuds or the case battery percentage. You can swipe between three shortcuts, the ANC control, EQ settings and latency option. Tapping the gear icon shows more like tap settings, power and pair options, factory reset, user manual and high resolution format settings. Each earbud takes around an hour to charge. Just a side note, a 10 minute quick charge would also give you an hour playback if you are in a quickie. We have tested the battery life in different settings. For game mode plus ANC high turn on, we get a total of 14 hours and 50 minutes. With normal mood and ANC high turned on, we get a total of 17 hours and 35 minutes. For normal mood with ANC turned off, we got a total of 21 hours. On to Audio Benchmark. This is a hybrid earbud setup. It features a Noel's balanced armature driver better for high frequency sounds and an unknown size dynamic driver better for low frequency sounds. Each is tuned and fit balanced with Edifier's crossover technology for natural sounding experience. The New Buds Pro is certified high resolution audio wireless. It supports high res codecs like LDAC up to 96 kHz sampling on supported device or LHDC up to 900 kilobits per second sampling on supported devices, as well as the standard codecs like the AAC and the SBC codec. Our test is based on the Samsung S20 Plus with normal mood latency and ANC high turn on. Starting with the bass and vocals focus song, TMB OK. Ultra low bass packs power and is louder than the vocals right here. Vocals is crystal clear, not muffled, nor pushed back. For PM Mia do it again, normal bass packs the same power as the ultra lows, juicy and energetic. Vocals is crystal clear and feel nearly the same in, with bass in terms of the audible levels. Maybe the bass is a hair bit louder, but just a tiny bit. This is thanks to the dual hybrid drivers and the Edifier Crossfade technology. The bass fades with a long smooth drag at the 2 minute and 5 second mark of the song. Next with instrumentals, violin the raindrops. The piano and violin leans towards the crystal clear type with a hint of tiny warm, which just the way I like it. The bass is a bit louder than the instrumentals in terms of audible level wise, but at the most part, it kind of feel balanced. When it comes to the audio, thanks to its dual driver setup right here, the lows and the highs have character, has some personality, I would say. So this is a typical not flat, not semi-flat, but a typical U-shaped uh, frequency graph where the character is on the peaks or the ends right here. 
Despite the highs and lows is more audibly present than the mids, I would say the mids is still notable. It's clear, it's loud, it's crystal clear, it's not muffled. So generally with this kind of character of strong highs and lows, it's good for streaming content like streaming music, it's packs of energy. Streaming content, sad Korean drama, you really cry to it. Epic Disney fight, pew pew pew, laser time, good. Except for the droids that always fall down and die. Too bad. So using this to stream streaming contents, it'll be amazing. Aside from that, ANC, amazing. Battery life, amazing. But to fully appreciate this earbud is to customize it. You definitely need to download the Edifier Connect app to tweak this earbuds to your desired liking and settings. Would I recommend this? Sony has not been giving me new toys to play, so I would say, why not? Give this a shot if you're interested to check its updated price or available discounts in the product link. They can be found in the video description down below. Thanks to Edifier for sending this baby for review. It's going to be our keeper currently in our top three true wireless category. So we're going to keep it and yeah, see you guys in the next audio file review. Hopefully by then my arms are healed up. Till then, bye bye. Peace out.